Hi Scorpio, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope you guys are sleeping. I hope you guys are communicating. Because I have to tell you, once I got into your energy, my throat felt really tight. Um, I, I feel like communication might be an issue right now for you guys. And I'm not calling you out. This is a message I've had for quite a bit of signs. Um, with the Mercury retrograde pre-shadow, I think it's literally about to happen too. I'm going to have to look that up. But with that Mercury retrograde coming in, communication is going to be a little difficult in general. Um, if you guys are feeling like you're not communicating to the best of your ability, really clear out that throat chakra. Drink some tea, do your shower meditations, clear your chakras using your archangels as well as your... Um, you're uh, connecting to Mother Gaia. Yeah, I'm having a lot of trouble communicating. No offense. It's not a big deal. It's an easy thing to fix. Um, you guys are very, very powerful people. And when you speak, you guys have a lot to say. And that's a beautiful thing. Not everyone can just speak their truth, okay? But right now, I feel like you guys are having a little bit of issues with, uh, with your communication, okay? Yeah, because as soon as I got into there, guys... I can barely even, I can barely even talk. So that being said, Scorpio, let's see what angels are coming in to assist you right now. Um, also, if you're in a situation where you do feel like, you know, the communication is not quite what you want it to be, or you feel like they're not listening to what you're saying, um, maybe this is the time for you to, like, handle it differently. I don't want to say you've been handling it wrong, but just be poised, be graceful, like act, act as though you're not bothered, even if you are. Also, don't let what people say bother you. You need to release that too. Um, if there's something you also have been wanting to communicate to someone for a while, just, I mean, just do it. This is the time to speak your truth. Um, I feel like more than anything, though, it's just like you're having miscommunication issues in general, whether it be like the workplace or maybe with your significant other, or maybe with friends. You're just not communicating the way to your ability that you normally have. Yes, thank you, Spirit. So you're not communicating to the ability you normally have, okay? Because you guys are powerful, okay? Like, I got in your energy and I was like, whoa! It almost made me want to, like, sit up straight instead of, you know? It, you guys are powerful. And you guys... You guys are great about speaking your truth, but you may just be butting heads with someone. I'm not saying it's your fault, but, like, act poised. Act act above it. Act like it doesn't bother you, even if it does, okay? All right. Oh, and I did want to tell you guys, I've been telling everyone this. Um, My video likes to cut out at some points, so what I'll do is I will pause, keep the cards exactly where they are, and then restart the camera, okay? I'll edit it together so you might not even notice, but you will because I'm not that good of an editor. <laughs> so you might notice, but I am telling you I will stop it right exactly where we left off. Who's coming in to assist our Scorpios? And these are angel cards um, with messages from our divine, our divine archangels. And let's see what they have to say for you, Scorpio. Oh, yes. Okay, just act out of love. Act out of kindness. All heart chakra. Um, remember that... Remember that when you speak with love, it gets things done better than speaking out of anger or frustration or things like that. Also, if there's love that you've been wanting to express, like even if you feel cheesy or anything like that, like it's okay. Like you're allowed to, I know you guys are very strong, but you guys are very empathetic. So just remember like it's okay to tell people how you feel. But this is also just like make sure you're acting with love, okay? Acting and speaking with love. Oh, beautiful. I think, I think we all could, like in general, like our society should act with love, right? But I think this also means that you guys have the gift of love in your heart, right? Um, I think you may be afraid to speak of it. I don't think, I think you guys have, like the energy I'm in right now, like I feel like you guys like don't want to appear weak. But there's nothing weak about your kindness and your love and your compassion because it is a gift. Don't forget that. Uh, you have to, you have to think not everyone loves like you guys do, okay? So just speak with more love, act out of love. Like, you are love. That's what spirit wants me to know. Also know you are loved by spirit and the divine always. If you always feel, like, alone or unloved, oh, okay. 
this doesn't surprise me either. Happy late Valentine's Day. No, I'm just kidding. But with romance coming out, so what we have here is two flames, okay? I don't like to get caught up in the twin flame thing because we all have masculine and feminine energies, right? So maybe romance in your life has not been where you want it. Or, look at this, maybe there's new love coming in, counterpart, I don't like to get caught up on that. Remember, we are our own counterparts and we become whole on our own, okay? That's our journey. That being said, love could be coming in for you. Um, but I also want you to know for those of you where love has not been apparent in your life, your archangels are coming in. I think it's Zedekiel. Zedekiel is coming in, okay? And he's going to change that. He's going to bring you new love or more love in your existing relationship. Are you one of those who who really like desires to have a certain kind of love. I want you to put away your fairy tale expectations um, because like life is not a fairy tale. I've been told that a million times, but like our idea of love here on the earth plane is so different than what actual love is. Okay, love by spirit, love by the divine, love by our galactic collective. It's a different kind of love. Okay, but as far as romance, that is earth plane, okay, that could be either a partner you have, love is about to, romance is about to kind of expand or become a different kind of um, romance for you, yeah, or you have love and romance coming in. Oh, I'm happy for you. Also, maybe counterpart in the dream space or in life counterpart um, conversations. Like I said, I don't get caught up on that, okay? But if you look too, this is a lot of um, sacral chakra as well as solar plexus. This is a big message for the collective is balancing our feminine and masculine energy because do remember that we have both, okay? We do have both. So make sure those are balanced. Um, like I said, do some uh, chakra, ch chakra, chakra clearings, okay? Maybe just like a whole body chakra cleanse. Because we all need it. Make room for stuff that serves us. We have to release what does not serve us anymore to make room for stuff that does serve us, okay? But you guys are lovely. Yeah, you guys, you either desire romance or romance is coming in for you. Just remember, as far as communication, that always speak with love and compassion. Oh, um, yeah. I told you guys, you guys are empathetic beings. Wow, this is so heart chakra guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, so... I want you to remember, like, you guys are empathetic beings, and maybe a situation in your, you're in, um, you are not being empathetic, and I'm not calling out everyone, I'm just saying maybe this is something to draw attention to, are you lacking empathy anywhere in life, or this card can come out as a confirmation that you are a beautiful, empathetic being, who has a gift that not everyone on the earth plane has, the gift of empathy, you feel more than most people feel. And that is not a bad thing. It's just learning your boundaries, okay? Um, speaking with your love, okay? Now this on here is that lotus, that lotus during the day under the mud, right? And then in the night, the lotus comes up and shows its true beauty, its true blossom, cleansing every day, a big message of you guys needing to cleanse, okay? And that's Archangel Raphael. Yeah, cleanse out the heart chakra. Make room for either this romance or love that's coming in. Or make room to have more love and empathy in your life. Because you guys, it's okay to feel things. I mean, I don't want you to ever hold on to feelings. I want you to acknowledge them and then release them. This could just be something you need to cleanse. This could be just drawing attention to how you're speaking, how you're, why, maybe having empathy for why this person is acting this way, right? I think that's a really good message because remember, people are mirrors of ourselves. Okay, guys, I'm going to get out Wisdom of the Oracle. I love this deck. So let me explain Oracle cards to you. I might read from the book. I might not. It's whatever I'm channeled to do. The Divine sometimes likes to come in and I go on a rant. But other times I like to read the Oracle book. Um, those Oracle books I actually really recommend just because it's really nice to see how the author feels about it or affirmations. There's just good information in there because sometimes I'll be doing reads and I'll be like, oh, I need to look at the book. I, I think it's just, it, it's never a bad thing to know how it makes someone else feel, right? Okay. Oh my gosh. Scorpio. You guys are lovely though, but if it's a miscommunication issue, just see, you've got this. Oh, okay. 
this doesn't surprise me. Uh, numerology is a 10, all about completions. They're not going to let you get to that one again. Okay, so your Ace of Wands, your Ace of Cups, whatever that fills you up, whatever that passion is, if it's Ace of Cups being this new love or this new romance or a new idea of love in your life, um, I want you to know you have some unfinished symphonies. Okay, so what needs clearing out or cleansing in your life? What are you making room for? So remember, life goes in a spiral, okay? We have weird past issues come up. We have past people come up for reasons. Why'd they come up? Is it to teach us a lesson? Most likely. Is it karmic? Probably. But I want you to know, like, whatever you need to clear out to make space for this Ace of Cups, this new beginning, I don't even want to get caught up in love. Like, new career, new... New you, new way of life, new way of having empathy and speaking with love. You have to release what does not serve you. So it's time to change little things, okay? Maybe how we speak. Act with love, act with empathy, because you guys are very, very loving, empathy, empathetic people. It's just I think sometimes you're outside, right? You're hard. You guys are harder to get into. It's okay to let that guard down, okay? But you, whatever it is, you need to clear out so that you can get that new offer, that new career, that new way of being, the new person you're going to become, okay? So Unfinished Symphony is just about why is this stuff coming up? How do I release it, okay? I stepped away from my camera for a second to make sure it's still playing and we're good. Again, Unfinished Symphony is just coming out. Let's go ahead and get another Oracle card for you, Scorpio. Clear out, make room for love, make room for light, make room for empathy. Ooh, we got two. I'll take it. Spirit tells me to take it, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right, I feel like this is fine. You guys are good at <laughs> this one. Okay, if you guys um, have not been speaking your truth, this is the time to do it. Like I said, if you guys have love that you need to express to people, it doesn't have to be romantic. We can love our animals. We can love our friends. We can love our galactic family. We can love our soul tribe. If you have love that you need to speak up on, you can. Speak your truth. It's okay. But also, speaking your truth is all about being your own authentic self. What are we hiding away what are we afraid of that people will think of us if we are a certain way or we act a certain way? Speaking, the truth be told, and speaking your truth is just like, this is who I am, take it or leave it. And you guys are going to step into that power, okay? There's a window of opportunity. Like I said, whatever needs to be cleaned up, this window of opportunity is a more beneficial a more beneficial offer for your highest truth. Thank you, Spirit. So whoever you are... At your soul core because remember you are a soul what is your truth what is it that you truly desire this window is open and that opportunity is yours to take okay wow 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 and i feel like this is fair for everyone okay this is a energy of clean it up clean it up can pertain to your home if there's stagnant energy in your home remember things have energy because what we do is we will be thinking about cleaning when we're thinking about doing something else and then we'll notice this and we'll notice this that's energy ties those are cords being connected to doing something okay so clean it up if there's anything in your house that needs to be cleaned up clean it up now i want to go back to the cleanse topic with the empathy clean up your chakras i don't mean that in a mean way but clear out that old crap because if you don't you're not going to make room for this highest truth this thing and your highest good okay so I need you to really focus on why are these past issues coming up and you have to get rid of them. It's okay to feel feelings, but you have to release them, okay? Because they do not serve you anymore, okay? That's why they're past feelings. Um, clean it up. I Like I said, I really just feel a lot of cleansing energy right now within yourself. Clean up your speech. Clean up your act. Clean. Oh, self-care. Yeah, that's another thing I want to talk to you guys about. Um, have self-care. I mean, I'm sure you guys have a routine, but maybe you are putting so much into something else or like your career or like your your love. You're just putting so much energy into that. We're forgetting about us and our self-care because we need to have enough in our cup that we are overflowing and able, right? Able to give to those that we love, okay? Practicing empathy and 
really more than anything with that, I just, I want you to, I want you to know, like, you guys have a gift, a, a potential coming in. There is an opening there that is for you. But until we get rid of this stuff, whatever the stuff may be, however it resonates with you, we don't have room for the beauty, beautiful stuff that's coming in, that is coming in. So we know that you are love. Okay, we know that you have empathy. We know that you desire romance, that you, you need balance in your in your solar, your feminine, your masculine energies. But cleaning it up, I just I want you to know like you guys are so beautiful and so important. Like put yourself first. I hate to be like this, but like take your personal day. Have your own like do a bath ritual. Do like a face mask every week, like just little things that you're treating to yourself, okay? Because you, you deserve it, right? And you do, and you know you do. Clean up your, <laughs> clean up your act spirit, clean up your act, but also more than anything, like if you're not putting yourself first or cleaning yourself up, your, your, your stuff that you're holding on to, you're not gonna make room for this beautiful highest truth thing whatever it may the offering thank you spirit offering that's coming in okay all right let's pull some tarot and see what messages are coming in for you scorpio oh guys you you guys are beautiful beautiful empathetic souls and it's okay to feel it's okay to feel things but gosh your energy feels like it's connected to a bu bunch of different things i think it's time for you to focus on that window okay and focus on yourself yeah, that owl is wise. There's an owl with a window in it. That owl, you guys are wise. Yep. Oh, this does not surprise me. Unfinished symphonies with the um, Seven of Swords. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm so sorry you feel this way. You guys are feeling very, like, backstabbed or betrayed or the miscommunication is causing competition and rivalry. Uh, it, it's secrets is the seven of swords is secrets. So things are either being withheld from you, maybe you're withholding from people. That could be something you're doing too. You're withholding speaking your truth to people because you are so afraid of what people might think or what people might say, okay? So he he's guarded. He is protecting his swords for dear life. But if these people who are after him, if they're not released, it's just going to get worse. It's going to turn into anxiety. My light just shut off, so excuse me. It's going to turn into anxiety. It's going to turn into stress. It's going to turn into that kind of stuff, okay? So really what you need to do right now is release that worry, release that fear. Also, just be careful who's around you, right? If you are having miscommunication with someone and they are not speaking out of truth or they are they're really intense, because people are really intense, right? Um, <laughs> people are intense. Don't, don't feel like you have to surrender your power to them, but like kill them with kindness, right? Yeah, but this is all about secrets and, um, you're protecting your swords for your dear life. You don't have to protect your swords, okay? You just really need to release what does not serve you, the people that do not serve you. If they are in your mind, if you're thinking, oh, this person's out to get me or this person's bad, it might not be as bad as what you seem or what you're thinking and feeling. But if, if that person is making you feel that way, maybe it's time for you to separate yourself from that, right? Or maybe even having understanding and empathy of why they are the way they are. Because remember, people are mirrors of ourselves. What in them is triggering me, okay? Or you do need to draw attention to yourself in a way because of the way they're acting. But honestly, guys, just if people, if you are afraid of people being backstabbing or conniving, just you have to learn how to be kind to people, but not let their energy bother you. It takes time, it takes practice, but you have to get to the point where you're like, I don't care what people think. And if they are gonna say bad things about you or gossip or whatever, secrets, whatever that might be, or someone's withholding information from you, they're not someone you want in your energy field anyways. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, truth be told, speak your truth. Surround yourself with the truth. Surround yourself with love because love, I almost said something cheesy, love conquers all. But I mean, it kind of does. Mm, okay. 
Yeah, you guys really need a ground right now. Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, this is, whenever she's right way, she's the Earth Mother, okay? She is standing on her throne. She is a fiery, passionate, loving energy. She is home, right? We know you guys are empathetic, right? We know you guys have love, but maybe the way you've been acting is just not with that way of love. This is really drawing attention to trying to get yourself into this. What you need to do is you need to ground and you need to balance. Release it to Mother Gaia because something is holding you back from stepping into your true potential and your true power. Okay, Scorpio, you guys are kind of almost like unbalanced and like you could either... So think about this way. The fruit is either too ripe or it's too overdone or it's gone. Right? You guys need to really balance. I need you guys to release whatever does not serve you. I'm not saying this is like a bad card or anything like that, but you guys have potential to be this beautiful. I like to think of like, she feels like home, right? Yeah, she feels like home. But you haven't, she's sunny, she's bright. You guys haven't been feeling that way, have you? Because you're so nervous about losing your swords or missed opportunities. I don't know why I got that. And you're go, go, go. You need to remember, you have to take care of yourself. You have to clean it up. You have to ground and balance yourself to get back into this energy, okay? Remember, tarot is just all about drawing attention to things that need to be drawn attention to. But, like, I want to reiterate to you guys, guys, love, empathy, romance... Everything is about to shine its light and get better because you just have some stuff to clear out. You just have some crap to clear out, that's all. You will, and you will. Final message for our Scorpios. Final message for our Scorpios. Ooh. Final message for our Scorpios. Self-care, guys. You guys deserve, you deserve it. Stop putting your energy everywhere. Only give it to who and what deserves your energy. Because you guys are empathetic and you are so loving, too. You have a lot of that to give, don't you? Share it with the world. That's, that's what Spirit just said. Ooh, Tarot's like, mm, I'm good. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's not time yet. Okay. Um, Ace of Swords is all about your true potential power, speaking your truth, cutting through the BS, letting your light shine, communication on point. But again, a one is all about your offering. It's, it's telling you until this 10, the unfinished symphonies, until all of this is cleared up and balanced and cleaned up, you can't, you can't get to this Ace of Swords. It's not time yet. It doesn't mean this isn't here for you, right? Your true potential and your true power, don't let, don't surrender your power to anyone, okay? I, I feel like maybe you guys are in a situation where you are surrendering your power, or maybe you're too strong. Like I said back, at, back a couple minutes ago with the being too ripe or being too done, you have to be in the middle, okay? You guys will receive this. I don't doubt this for a second. You guys have a crown, a true potential. You guys do, but I need you guys to clean it up. I need you guys to speak your truth, release what does not serve you, because you just have some unfinished business. That's all it is. Get rid of that crap, right? So we can make room for things we love, our true potential, so we can sit on our throne that we so rightfully deserve. So this is the time just to draw attention to these things, okay? I, I don't doubt for a second once you go through this process and you cleanse and you detox all this crap, you're going to step into beautiful, beautiful, beautiful potential. I can feel it. Like you guys are love and empathy. And with that truth be told coming out, maybe there is something and Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's, is there something you're withholding or that's being withheld from you? You need to speak your truth. You have full power, full potential. Don't surrender that to anyone. Okay? And you know that. You guys have light and love. You know not to give up your power. So why are you? Are you afraid of what people might say? Are you not giving yourself the self-care you need? Because you deserve that. 
for with how much you guys give, I'm going to take the first one. Uh, yeah, this is a good message too, especially with the Seven of Swords coming out. Listen to this. I am discerning. I love myself enough to say no to people and situations that do not serve my highest good. I am discerning. Guys, if, if you're surrounded by people who are gossipy, backstabbing, they don't serve your highest good. They don't, they don't, they don't have the love in their heart chakra that, I'm not saying they don't have love, but like they don't compare to you. And we don't compare, we don't judge, but you are just on a, such a different higher level, okay? So I'm going to read it to you again. I am discerning. I love myself enough to say no to people and situations that do not serve my highest good. Boom. And that is right. We do not tell people things because they might gossip. Who cares? But at the end of the day, you're surrendering your power to someone or something. Don't do that anymore, guys. This is your power and you love yourself. So every day I want you to say, I love myself enough to say no to people and situations that do not serve my highest good. Oh my gosh, yes, you guys can do it. I don't doubt that for a second. It's just time for you to, I really, I'm getting like six of pentacles where, in reverse, where we give and give and give and give and give, and we're not receiving the same, right? We're giving our energy, giving our time, we're giving our thoughts. They don't deserve it if they're not for your highest good, right? Self-care, cleanse it. Guys, you guys have beautiful things coming and you just can't do it until you clear out whatever is not serving your highest good, okay? Self-care, take care of yourself, Scorpio. You deserve to sit on your throne. You deserve your ace of swords, your true potential power because you have power, okay? Okay, Scorpio, thank you so much with light and love.